Congratulations on your new purchase of an FX Airguns Crown Mark II. What you'll expect to see when you get your crown is a nice hard case like this. Kind of just pop it open and flip those tabs over. And you'll see your gun. What you'll find inside is some paperwork. There will be a spec sheet, show your order number, date, uh, what gun you got, the caliber, the what pellet it's going to be shooting, as well as the velocities and the technician that did it. Um, you'll also see like an order summary of everything you purchased. There will be an owner's manual, a fill adapter, a magazine. Moving on to the gun, this is a 500 millimeter gun and you're looking at a walnut stock. Gun should arrive on safe and decocked. Now that we've gone over what comes in the case, let's go over how to fill up the gun with air and load a magazine. Basically what you'll have is a dust cap there. We'll remove that. You might have a hand pump, a compressor, or an SCBA style tank. Anything you use, basically they're all gonna have the same means of attachment to the gun. And that's just a foster fitting. So on the bottom side of your gun, You'll see this fill nipple here, and you'll place the foster fitting onto that. Make sure that it locks on to that fill nipple there. And the gauge closest to the trigger is going to be your regulator, and the gauge closest to the bottle is going to be your fill pressure. So just keep an eye on that. You don't want to go above 250. It's rated to 250, so we're just going to stop it there. On um, the tank, you're going to make sure the bleeder's closed. Crack open the bottle. All right, nice and quick fill. We'll shut, close the bottle again, bleed it off, and then you'll be safe to remove that fitting. All right, moving on to filling the magazine. Just take your pellets, get those opened up. And with the magazine, most of the FX magazines are gonna be like this or the impact style. Basically, you'll turn that half crescent over completely 180 degrees and then you will wind the magazine in a counterclockwise way you'll grab one pellet that'll be your stopper pellet see how the magazine is not turning anymore that pellet stops it then you'll just go through and load all the pellets dome face down into the magazine and we'll just load five just for example here We'll then place the plastic shield back over the magazine. You'll see at the top of the mag, there is a little nipple and that will be lined up with the top of your magazine. Then you'll click that half crescent back over 180 degrees to lock the magazine in. And uh, that's basically it. After you've loaded the magazine, you'll wanna know how to put it in the gun. Um, first off, make sure the gun's on safe. Then you're going to cock the bolt open, just pull it back, you'll feel it click into place. You'll take your magazine and make sure the skirt of the pellets are faced towards you as the shooter. And you will guide the magazine up the mag ramp there and you'll feel it kind of bottom out. At that point you will be seated all the way into the mag well and you're good to rock that bolt forward and you will then chamber around. To decock the gun, you're gonna to want to hold the bolt back and then you can put just, you know, a little pressure on that trigger, don't go crazy. You'll feel it engage and the bolt will slightly rock forward. Now your gun is decocked. Put it back on safe, good to go. All right guys, this is just an overview of what to expect when you receive your FX crown. Uh, all the things we went over are on our Utah Air Guns workshop channel. There will be a link to the channel in the description of this video. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, just feel free to leave a comment. Thanks.